and here we are again, back in Brookhaven Hospital, looking at a clock. I used to have one of those style clocks. What, the one that's a solution to the puzzle of a case next to it? No, the, the sort of ringy ones. Ringy ones? Oh the yes, one with an actual... style ones. Yeah. I guess the time was 10.44. Very specific, that as well. Much more specific than most of them would be. Uh, game clues in general. Yes, we have actually picked up a fair number of um, new items. You can, of course, see the developed photos right away. Takes off nail polish. Oh, we haven't examined that yet. And we're going to now. And for those of you who haven't played Silent Hill, the first game, play Silent Hill, the first game. Yes, this was a bit of a reminder, but I think mostly it's probably supposed to serve as being sort of adding to the sadness because he's died. Cause well, and, and also to let people who haven't played the first okay. game follow along with the plot. Also, I do think this um, makes Harry seem a lot more human. Mm. So I think it highlights the strangeness of how long this person has been alive, because you were a lesser, and then you were his daughter, who then he lost, but then he had another baby. That's all a bit confusing, really. Yeah. Elevator doesn't do anything, have we? Doesn't react at all. Seems rude. I think we're just checking we haven't missed any of the rooms. Oh, we have I tried the day room. the day room, the other door. I suspect we won't be able to go in. Because that's uh, something we use in Silent Hill 2, I think. And yes, that doll's gone. And the notepad as well. So I'm assuming it's the same notepad as well. Same thing happened last time. That's a good idea. We get them both in our other direction. Hit by Did take a, a little bit of damage there, but uh, I'm sure we'll patch up well in no time. Not quite full health, but nearly there. So we've still got... There's a locked door to floor. the stairwell. Yes, we've got another locked door. Good, uh, good view there. <laughs> Back into the lift. This is uh, the lift, of course, that um, James used. That Maria almost got into. <laughs> but not quite. Mostly her hand. So it seems like there's still more to do with the items that we have and the locations we've already visited. I think we're going to have a look at the map and have a little think. Was there anything else on the first floor? Or not especially? Well, it's the first floor we want to head to, yeah. Yeah. But uh, we don't know if we're going to figure that out. Oh, there you go, it's circled. See, that's what I love about the um, the map system. It improves with each game as well, although the red writing has always been done. There's a section in Silent Hill 3 where she starts making her own map, of course, and hmm. in Silent Hill 4 it's entirely uh, the own... Your own map. Your own map. 
Yes, because presumably when we unlock the stairs we'll be able to get to the third floor. We can't take the elevator. Yes, that's right. Heather doing a little uh, little dance there. <laughs> it's demonstrating the blocking. That no one ever uses. Dodging in Silent Hill 4, you use that. Totes. Here we are back in C4. Careful. It's explosive. Oh, yes. We want to use the nail polish, polish remover. I, I think, think they even give you a cue here. Oh, no, it's not a cue in there. It's a, the, There's a note about it. Yeah, which he talks about that one of the nurses has something. And of course we've already been there. Ah, here we go. So we use the nail polish remover. The stairwell key. Fantastic. She doesn't want the bug. I'll take the <laughs> bug. It's huge. You can attack enemies with it. To the stairwell. And I like the way we're instantly aware of the nurses as mm. soon as we hear the breathing sound. We're going down to the basement right away. Mm. Interesting things happen in basements. Yes. This particular basement has had a particularly interesting thing happen in it. What's that on the floor? Some machine gun bullets! Obviously they're medical submarine bullets. Submarine? Submachine. <laughs> yeah. Submachine gun. Yes, the floor's wonderfully stained. I, I think what happened is that they ran into some ketchup. I, I'm afraid that's not ketchup. Indeed not. Yes, we actually get a submarine gun. So I'm saying it again. A <laughs> submachine gun. <laughs> a submachine gun in Silent Hill 3. Someone else has had a, a rather less lucky encounter, presumably. Oh, and it looks like they've... Isn't that a wonderful image? Yes, they've tried to slip around. We'll just get in there. We'll come back to that. Mm. And once again, Silent Hill 3 deliberately bring home, brings home the immediacy of the location. When you come down here, that wheel is still spinning, which suggests that whatever's transpired down there has been very, very recent. It would probably be an idea to unlock floor two at least. Nope. Or not. I was wondering if we get to go to the roof or not. Yep. But first, floor three. Ah. Stab that door. Which is locked. And another key code. Our favourite things in the universe. Mm. Pattern on the ground now. Oh, that one didn't have any flavour text. No, I think it stops after a while. Okay. There's probably only so many times they can go like, oh, what's this symbol? Batteries, health drink, health drink, fantastic. But there it looks like there's another Stanley Coleman note and doll. Here we go. My most sacred lover. <laughs> They do sound a bit more like they're getting more fervent. Yeah, Stanley. Ok, 
can't go in there either. It is a very limited subset. I suspect you don't spend quite as long in the hospital in three than you do in two. Possibly not. I don't think he actually hit all the dolls, however, but we'll go well, back if we figure it out. There's lots of things we can come back to. There's no particular rush or anything. That's another dollar note. Just to prove that he knows where you are. Mm. I think the hint of what the game wants you to do is there on the barrels. It seems to want you to uh, equip the submarine uh, submachine gun, and he said it again, and uh, use that. But I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to um, use the shotgun. Nope. Well, it did a lot of damage. Can we get out the way however, before that thing? Oh yeah, us? with a sort of flick blade that comes out of its um, sleeve. Also, amazes me how big those things are. But yes, I love the the blade that flicks out of the um, the end of their arms. Their appearances truly are monstrous. Unfortunately, they're also truly dead. But we'll uh, have to explore the rest of the rooftop and see if there's anything up here the next time.